For a number of years, I've been doing BattleBox unboxing videos to kind of provide a library of resources to check out some examples of what you might expect on a battle box. Not too long ago, I asked you, the viewer, if you'd be interested in me catching up on some of the ones I missed in 2023 when I was doing other things. And the majority of people said, yes, this is going to be one of those videos. This is Mission 98 from early 2023. And that's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me for another BattleBox video. And like I said, this is an old one. I'm doing this just to kind of try to fill in the library so that you can have as many examples as possible of what you might expect in a mystery box because BattleBox is a mystery box. You give them some money, they send you a box of stuff, and you don't know what it's going to be until you get it. So I've tried to provide some examples of what you might expect. So without any more rambling, well, just a little more rambling, um, Prices, you're going to have to go to BattleBox.com and check them out yourself. I always get comments about how do we know what it's worth if we don't check the prices. Google is your friend, okay? So Today's video is sponsored by Hog Holsters. Hog Holsters are made in the USA and Arizona, and they are without a doubt the most comfortable concealable holster I've ever tested. You can save 10% on your order at Hog Holsters by using the coupon code SURVIVALONPURPOSE, all one word. That's HogHolsters.com. Thanks to Hog Holsters for sponsoring today's video. This is Mission 98, we're going to check it out. And it always comes with these little mission briefs. We're just going to see what is in here. The basic box level is the lowest price level. And the first thing in the box in the basic level is this BattleBox branded Survival Outdoors, the BattleBox branded wallet. And it's a little leather front pocket, very slim wallet with a money clip, um, a magnetic money clip and some, and some card slots. And I don't think it opens up there. So, yeah. So, there you go. And that is the BattleBox custom wallet. And then the next item in this box is the 30-foot uh, USB camping light. And this is basically a little um, kind of an LED rope light that is 30 feet long with 100 LEDs on it. You can hang up in a campsite and then, uh, plug it into any USB power source. So you just put, put it in your power bank or whatever, and you got some lights around your camp. That's pretty cool. So there's that. And then finally, the uh, third item in the basic box for this box was the Water Drop Plus Water Filter, orange flavored. And this basically is a little bag. Well, actually, there's two of them in here. There's an orange flavor for fresher brackish water and another one, a grape flavor for desalinization. So you fill these things up, let them sit about six hours, and they soak up all the stuff, I guess, and then you got some fresh water. So that's everything in the basic box. Pretty cool there. Again, if you want to know how much this costs, check it out on their website, okay? The next level is an advanced box. And in the advanced box, you get everything in the basic box plus some more stuff. And that month, I won't say this month, that month, the advanced box was this Wooks Axe Brush Sharpening System. And basically, it's a uh, axe brush sharpening system. Say it that way. It's not a brush sharpening system. It's an axe brush sharpening system. It comes with this double-sided puck and a little tin and a brush to clean your axe off. So it's always good to have a sharp axe. So that's everything in the advanced box. So the next level box is the is a pro box. You get everything plus some more stuff, right? You pay me some more money, you get some more stuff. The pro box this month, that month, was a dead fish. Let's see if I can open this thing up. Should have done this in advance to try to save time. But I didn't, so bear with me. It's really pretty cool. It is a combination cutting board that opens up with a nice chef's knife in here. And you can use this for a cutting board. Uh, that is pretty stinking cool, and woo, it should be sharp. So that's pretty neat. I think Deadfish does a pretty good job on some of these cooking knives. So there's that one. And then last is the Pro Plus box. Basically, in the Pro Plus box, you get everything in the le lower levels plus some more stuff. Usually, the more stuff is something sharp. And this time, it was a Razorback folding knife. Comes in this handy little pouch here. You open her up. It's a knife, but it has replaceable different blades. And it comes with several different blades. It comes with different blades in, in here in this little pouch here, little little package. Be careful. These things are probably sharp, and I don't want to get cut. Okay, so it's got several different styles. We've got saw blades and hook blades and, and serrated blades and all kinds of stuff there. And it fits right in the back of the little pouch here. And... It's a liner lock, frame lock, actually. Oh, don't cut your finger, Brian. 
You gotta be careful when you close it, don't stick your finger in that little hole like I just did. Um, and then it snaps very well and it comes with some more extra blades. Yep, some more. So pretty neat there. You got a lot, lot of different, lot of different options for blades and allows you not only to choose different different style blades, but also if it gets dull, you can replace it, which is pretty cool. So that is the Razorback knife, and that's everything in the Mission 98 battle box. And again, I went through this kind of fast. I just want to give you again a, a glimpse into what you might expect. This is an example of what you might expect in, in a battle box. Um, they're all going to be different. I try to pick one or two items I really think are cool out of every box. When Chuck Norris lifts weights, the weights get in shape. Honestly, my, my number one pick on this box are these right here. You know, obviously it's not as good as a geo press or something like that as, as far as long-term sustainability because it's going to give you one use and it's no good anymore. But desalinization is pretty cool. And by the way, another reason that I do these videos is not only to give you an example of what you might expect in a box, but to introduce you maybe to some cool gear that you didn't even know existed. Like, I didn't know this stuff existed. I think it's pretty cool. So that's probably why these companies um, get their stuff in the boxes so, to let you know they exist. So that's pretty neat. That's my number one pick. Number two, I got to say, I really dig this dead fish cutting board knife combo. It's a really sharp knife. It keeps it protected in there so you don't have to worry about the edge getting dinged up and makes a little cutting board. Pretty neat there. So that's Mission 98 Battle Box. I'd be interested in hearing what you think about this box. And what you think about me continuing these videos? Because I've got, oh, I got about six or seven more to go. So, um, if you like them, I will continue them. I really appreciate you watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So, be prepared. I'll see you next time.